Hi everybody, this is my channel Sewing Bunny and my name is Michelle. Thank you so much for joining me in my video today, which is sharing with you my wardrobe tour. Now I know some of you have been waiting for this one because um, if you remember, back in January, I stopped sewing. Um, I said that my wardrobe and my sewing room uh, was in desperate need of um, a big declutter, um, clear out, uh, just complete and utter sort of organisation. I needed organisation in my wardrobe and my sewing room. So this is sharing with you what I've done with my wardrobe, because that was the main thing I wanted to do first. Because I thought if I can sort out my wardrobe, then I kind of will be able to then see where the gaps are um, in what I need to make or want to make. Um, and yeah, just kind of feel that I can just go into my wardrobe and just for it not to be an absolute mess. I'm kicking myself a little bit because I didn't take before pictures of my wardrobe because I think when I first looked at it, I was just far too embarrassed, I think, to share <laughs> what my wardrobe looked like because it literally was just shoving things in every time I picked something out I had to iron it because it just was just shoved in and um, yeah it didn't look nice at all and it was just clogging up my headspace every time I looked at it I was like oh I can't couldn't find what I wanted so um, yeah I literally emptied out everything um, put things uh, to one side that I wanted to give to charity or uh, friends and family um, and then things that had to go to textile recycling and bits and bobs like that. Um, so I have done that. Um, and I will do a separate video on everything that I um, got rid of um, to charity uh, or family and friends um, in a separate video because otherwise this video is going to be really long. Uh, but I will go through that. Uh, so anything me made that I decided to donate, I will do a separate video for that. Um, so yeah, I took everything out and then I got myself some storage solutions um, and put those all in and then went through, filled them up and then I kind of almost went through another stage of doing more, um, sort of getting rid of things. So if things didn't fit in certain places, I was like, do I really need, you know, X amount of jeans, you know, do I need X amount of this type of top? Um, and then I would kind of filter down. So now I've had what I'm going to show you uh, probably for, I would say about three to four weeks now, um, sort of just finalised it all because I wanted to make sure that I was actually using it and that I could actually keep it tidy because I think that was a big test. And I've proven that so far I have kept everything organised and everything tidy. So I think this is the solution that will work for me. Yes, there probably will be times when it might get a little bit out of hand again, but um, hopefully when you see um, what I've done, um, it will be less easy to get to that sort of stage where it is just crazy. Um, I'm really happy with what I've done and it works for me. I'm not saying it will work for you, but it works for me. So I'm now going to um, pop in to my bedroom and I will take you on a little tour. Hello everyone, so um, welcome to my bedroom where I obviously keep my clothes. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm just gonna show you kind of where I store things, how I store them um, and just yeah, how I've reorganized. Um, Misty is joining me in the bedroom today. Um, she always sleeps in that little spot. She's, well, I say always, she's not really allowed in the bedroom um, apart from really when I'm in here. Um, and uh, yeah, she enjoys curling up and having a little snooze there. Do you like my duvet, by the way? Sort of jungle theme there. So yeah, right, I'll switch you around and yeah, we will go through how I've organized my wardrobe. So panning round from where Misty is, <laughs> um, I do have this large uh, wardrobe unit uh, we picked this up um, second hand um, from a furniture shop uh, when we first moved here actually. It's a really nice big wardrobe. So I have um, these two bits and this bit is Stuart's. And then a little bit further around, um, we've got 
uh, this chest of drawers, which is mine, um, and then this chest of drawers, some of these are Stuart's and some of those are mine. Um, and then this little plastic unit is mine as well. Stuart has got sort of other drawers to the side here. Um, I won't show those because it's got lots of mess on the top of it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I will go through um, these drawers first, then we'll move on to these, and then I will show you uh, my two bits of the wardrobe. Some of you might be wondering what the fluffy toy was when I was doing that. <laughs> this is a Star Wars Porg. Um, Stuart got for me a few years back, I think when the um, film came out with them in and I thought they're really cute. So he got me a little cuddly toy. And uh, yeah, it is wearing a little crab um, headband. <laughs> um, I've actually dug that out because um, I'm going to be just wearing it for one of my choir sessions. We're doing like a comic relief um, sort of choir session where we all have to wear a funny hat. And I found that um, in my sort of, uh, when I've done like sort of dressing up parties and things like that. I think this one came from when I was doing like an under the sea party that someone did ages ago. So um, yeah, I thought I'd uh, fish that out. Excuse the pun. Okay, so panning first to these drawers. Um, I say this isn't the tidiest of setups by any means, but it's the way I've got it. <laughs> um, so I'll start off with, I do have a, a plastic bag here. Sorry, there's going to be like hand things. Um, there's a Tesco bag here um, that just literally has my choir uniform in. So when we do concerts and things, you have to wear um, like all black with um, like the rock choir um, sort of T-shirt. And I deliberately put it in a plastic bag um, out of sight of the cats because getting ginger fluff off black um, things is quite difficult. So what I do is as soon as I've kind of washed it, I put it straight in the bag and then I know that it won't get any cat hair near. So, <laughs> or at least minimal cat hair. And then in these two drawers I have, you can probably see some of it. I've got my pajamas in the first drawer. Um, I might really lift you up so you can kind of see there. I've got my pajamas. Um, in that drawer and then in this one I have um, my lounge sets so I've got some fluffy ones and then I've got a couple of me made ones as well which are my um, linden sweatshirts and um, Hudson pants got a couple of those um, so we've got uh, these drawers here so the um, uh, these are all Stuart's up until the final two and that's uh, that's got my stuff in uh, we've got some pictures there that we still haven't put up <laughs> we've been moved in the house for like four years and we still have pictures that we still need to put up on the walls um but anyway uh so yeah i'll just um open these two drawers so you can see i'll need two hands so just bear with me so nothing really exciting about this drawer apart from it is basically my holiday um clothes so when i go on holiday um i take these things i've got like a very lightweight maxi dress um here i've got some like little vest tops that i only really wear on holiday uh, like little caftan sort of swimwear sort of cover up things like that so this stuff I don't really wear on a day-to-day -day basis even really in um, the summer here maybe if it's really really hot but I thought I'm going to keep it slightly separate because it's not things that I'm going to reach for all the time so that drawer is just dedicated for uh, my holiday wear and then the next drawer down uh, holiday wear but of a different kind um <laughs> Christmas um things so I've got all my Christmas jumpers in here you might recognize some of these ones that I've recently made um, I have just shoved a couple of um, or a pair of slippers in there as well I don't really wear them very often but um, I was given those as a secret Santa gift um, one year and I really really love them um, so I thought yeah I'll pop them in there as well um, so yeah just got all my Christmassy things in there so back to the pork with the crab headband. Um, I've got these little wicker um, drawers and things. They don't really have clothes in, but I'll just explain just in case you're interested. Um, it's just got like little bits and bobs. So I've got things like my passport um, and travel sort of cases, things like that. Um, I've got things like my, um, like when we had packs of face masks and things. I mean, we don't really wear them very often, but it's good to have them. So I've got a pack of those and just other little bits and bobs down there. I've also got my um, sort of fluffy boots as well. Those I've um, kept out because I'm gonna actually put those in the loft because I only wear them really for winter. And even though it is still very cold, um, I think I'm not really wearing them now. So I think I'm gonna put them back up in the loft for next year. 
And then we move on to this chest of drawers here, if I stand back a little bit. Um, so on the side of the wardrobe, we do have some little hooks that Stuart hangs his little hats and things. Um, I've got these two little drawers that actually were in my sewing room, but I've actually created um, some space in my sewing room where I don't need them. So I thought I'll bring them in here and I'll pop them on the top of this chest of drawers. Um, I've got some scissors that I just, to be honest, I always have a pair of scissors lying around for, you know, if you have like loose threads or labels, you know, from ready to wear clothing you need to cut out, etc. things like that. And always a lint roller. <laughs> we have lint rollers dotted around the house for obvious reasons, because we have the cats. Um, so in these drawers, um, this one just has some like cardigans. Um, and things in so just kind of cardigans that you can sort of fold up I know some cardigans you don't particularly want to roll up but these are like the soft and squidgy ones there I've got like my pearl um, cardigan my Tilly Buttons pearl cardigan there and then these ones are like the ready to wear ones as well I do have some tucked in the back there as well and then this drawer is like just sort of like accessories and things not very interesting but like belts um, I've got my like little purses I've got some sunglasses um bits of like jewelry and boxes and things just like little bits of accessories there and then we come to this um sort of thinner uh, narrower drawer set and this is where i have got some organization um bits which you know I will skim through some of this because this is basically my smalls. Um, so nobody needs to pay too much attention to this area, but I know that some people would like to see how I've organized it. So yes, um, I will show you it. <laughs> so um, on the top, I have things like my tights. Um, again, I understand it's not the neatest of things, but it works for me. So I've got all my tights here. Um, I've got so many pairs of black tights. I probably should get rid of a couple of these, but to be honest, they're still quite good. So I think I might just keep them until, um, you know, some of them get ladders and things in. But yeah, I uh, I do wear tights quite a bit in the um, in the winter. Um, and then I've got my slips here as well. And then just a couple of like these sort of um, sort of like little mini sort of boob tubes, you know, like if you're wearing something a bit low cut and you just want something to sort of cover. Um, that's what I've got in there. And then this one is my undies. So yeah, just, it's all got the little sections, um, shape wear this side and then just normal stuff this side. Got some gaps there because um, I am going to try and make myself some more of my own. And then in here is my sock drawer. Um, so again, it's got these little split um, organizers. I've got my sort of normal sort of socks here, sort of black socks, um, and then my summer ones like my little ankle socks because I love wearing these small um, socks in the summer so what I'll probably do is when it becomes hot I'll probably move all of this stuff more to the front and this stuff will go more to the back um, and then I've got things like my fluffy socks here my slipper socks and then my um, sort of gym uh, running sort of um, special socks there as well and then this one is bras again just yep <laughs> I've lined them all up in there um, this one is my vest tops. Um, so I like my camis. I wear camis under everything, um, even under like t-shirts, under dresses, everything. So these ones are all ready to wear ones. So they're just kind of cheap and cheerful ones that I've got um, and just yeah, a variety of colours. And then I've just added some extra little vest tops um, here that actually have like designs on them because I didn't really quite know where else to put them. Um, but yeah, this is all my cami tops. Oh, further down, uh, we have got, again, similar. These are like the basic t-shirts. So these are like the t-shirts that I wear sort of under, um, you know, like jumpers and things. You can see how bobbly <laughs> some of these are. Um, but they're just, they're still good for layering pieces. So I don't want to get rid of those because they're really good, you know, if you're going out in the garden, doing bits and bobs like that, you know, you kind of sometimes need some clothes that aren't best. <laughs> so um, that's what kind of these are. I've got, again, some patterned ones here. I do have a few more cami tops here that I've just shoved in um, just because, yeah, that drawer is overflowing. But yeah, as I say, I wear a cami top every single day. So, um, yeah, I want to make sure I have all the colours that I want. 
I could have a little um, polo here, which is like a little uh, karaoke one. When I did karaoke, we had little sort of groupy um, polos. So I haven't worn that in a while because I haven't been, haven't been going recently. But um, yeah, I wanted to keep it because obviously that's a bit special. So I thought keep it in there at the back. And then the last one at the bottom is um, my leggings. Um, so I've got all my leggings in here. I've got a little gap um, there because I'm wearing... Uh, my blue ones <laughs> and um, this side is my scarfs I've got a gap here because the scarf that I was wearing yesterday I went out for a walk yesterday with Stuart and um, I took a scarf so I need to put that back that's just downstairs on the um, coat rack and then also here just in this bit I had my gloves and my hat so I've got some fluffy gloves and I've got like a little fur lined sort of baker boy type hat that I wear um, and those actually fit in quite nicely in that little gap there um see so yeah, i've got my polar bear scarf i've got this scarf which i don't really wear but it's quite precious because i got it from egypt um it was the first big holiday that Stuart and i uh, did together and uh, i bought myself an orange scarf because orange is um our favorite color so <laughs> that one's just more of a um sentimental one and then i've got see, like minty floral ones i love this one as well this is kind of like a a lacy um sort of um, fashion scarf really pretty so yes those are um the drawers so now i'll move over to these two hello so um you're looking at me in a mirror <laughs> Uh, misty is still uh, squished up there um so yeah this is a big mirror if you can see it's let me step back um you can see there it's a really nice big mirror I don't have a lot of room between the bed and the wardrobe but it's enough um and yeah so this is why I wanted this wardrobe because of this big mirror I've got some hats uh like summer hats up there <laughs> in case anyone's wondering um so yes I will show you this section first because this one is Stuart's side of the wardrobe and then I've got the mirror side and um that one there and these are all sliding doors so I'm just going to slide open this one so here is the first section I'll just do a pan down so you can see um, apologies if this makes anyone seasick I am trying to hold the camera <laughs> as steady as possible um, so beforehand I wish I'd done before and afters um, but these shelves were kind of scattered in different places and things were shoved in in no particular order. So um, all those little boxes at the bottom are new and uh, this little organiser is new as well. So if I just start off with um, this section here, this is where I hang up all of my dresses that I can't fold or roll. Um, just because they'll get too creased, mainly sort of viscose and things like that. So I've got like one of my favourite Butterick dresses here. I've got a ready to wear one here. Um, Friday pattern Davenport, my Sotis, uh, Wilder gown, my uh, dressmaker's ball one, which I could um, roll up, but I thought it's quite a heavy dress. I kind of thought it'd be better to hang up. And I've got some ready to wear ones in there as well still have a little bit of a gap at the top if I needed to add anything um but yeah it just gives me again if I pan down uh, a full length um space to kind of hang them so they just literally skim the top of those boxes um which makes it uh nice to store and then in these little cubby holes I've got like different sort of bits in here so this is like my jumpsuits and things um I mean this is like the Milton pinafore I think it was just because I'm not sure if I had enough room in the in the other bit but that's my Milton pinafore my Hayley dungarees Sirocco jumpsuit Joni jumpsuit uh space yay <laughs> um and uh, this is a ready to wear dress, but I think everything else in here, I think is me made in these bits. So these are my me made dresses. These are all me made dresses. Uh, you can see I like Jersey dresses. Oh, I need to lean down to get down here. I'm just kneeling on the floor. <laughs> um, again, these are all me made. These are all me made. So yeah, you can tell I do love a Jersey dress. <laughs> um, 
they're not all jersey like we've got like cotton ones and double gauze and um viscose poly there and all that um but yeah so that is all nicely stored so i can kind of see what i want i can pull it out without having to have an avalanche i've only got to pick out a few um so if there is an avalanche i can quite happily store them back and then down to uh these sort of boxes so these are all new as well um so i just managed to even though they don't match i don't really mind to be honest as long as they fit everything in so this one has uh, tops that can be uh, folded and rolled up so these are like my ready to wear ones do have some me made ones in there as well um but yeah just some little tops and things uh this one has sort of like lightweight jumpers i guess so uh, these are all ready to wear these ones i've got quite a few gaps in here um so if i did make any sort of lighter weight things i can pop them in there i've got some like, little flannel shirts and things as well in that um and then again just tops that i can roll up so jersey ones crepe ones um things like that in here is all my pinafores so um yeah all of these are yeah all of these are me made so i've got my pinafores here and then i also do have some jackets um i made this one but this one and there's a little pink one right at the back um these are like my sort of shorter jackets so that you wear dresses for like when you go to weddings and things so they're all in there and then down here we've got um shorts so it's more like the summer sort of bit um on there uh so we've got uh, like sort of legging type or jogging bottom type shorts here um these are two me made ones these are my lander shorts and these are my persephone shorts and then again just some loungy sort of um shorts you notice when it's like hot and everything and then some sort of slightly these ones are slightly smarter um shorts there um and then this one um i did put to the side so they both fit in i'll just take this one out so this one is my skirts so i've got like some winter skirts here i've got some space still this is my victory patterns uh, madeleine skirt this is my tilly and the buttons skirt i can't remember the name of uh, this one i made this one i made these are ready to wear ones um oh and this one is my uh, double gauze uh, maxi skirt as well so that's all my skirts in that one so yeah that is the first section so we can now move on to this one so i can actually step back a little bit here and show you so this is the other section and i'll just pan down so again beforehand this all these shelves were scattered a bit up and down and things were just folded and oh just absolutely shoved in I'm really annoyed at myself that I didn't take it before because, yeah, it's such a difference. Um, so all of those boxes are new. And again, this organiser is new as well. So in this section here is just uh, tops and things that need hanging up. Blouses, cardigans that you don't want to roll or fold, um, longer tops, things like that. So you can probably see a whole variety of like, I've got my um, Paddington top, uh, my fringe top. Uh, pussy bear blouse, uh, shirts, you know, lots of sort of me made ones in there as well as some ready to wear. Um, so that's everything that is uh, I can hang up again. A little bit of wiggle room there for space, not loads, but um, yeah, if that gets too full, then I know I'll need to um, have a look at that section again. And then over here, um, this is all my t shirts. So you can see lots of t shirts. I love a t-shirt <laughs> um so they're not really in any particular order um but i do have a little bit of space here as well <laughs> um so this is ready to wear and me made so really happy with that again i can just pull them out as and when don't have to worry too much about things being pulled out and then a big avalanche of stuff because if it is then it's only one section that you need to um worry about and then, yes, more of the sort of boxes. These ones are slightly different to the ones that are in the other section. And um, these ones are slightly bigger um, just because they're going to take the slightly bigger items. So in here we have uh, my jeans. So it's all my jeans um, in this one. 
This one has a um, couple of pairs of jeans, my lightweight jeans. These are my ones that I made, the ginger jeans. A couple of little spaces there. And then these are like my work trousers, so like my smarter um, trousers here um, and everything. So I've got those. And then this one is my, um, what do you call them? It's like sort of slightly shorter trousers, I guess. Now I can't take this one out because it hits that. That's the only downside is this doesn't push any further back. But if I just take this one out for a second, all right, and I can pull this across. So these are like my three quarter trousers. I think that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> so like my jeans, um, smart trousers. Uh, these are actually um, ones where they were ready to wear jeans and then I cut them um, to make them shorter. <laughs> um, and then I've got things like my sew over it um, ultimate trousers that I've made three quarter length. I think I've got some full length ones at the back as well. But yeah, those are basically all of that section at the top is dedicated. Oh, to put this one back, one-handed. <laughs> uh, so this section at the top is all dedicated to um, trousers. So that is that section. Oh, leaning down. Again, sorry if I'm making anyone seasick at all. <laughs> uh, this section is uh, tops, like jumpers and things. So this one... Um, I've got jumpers, so I've got some of my linden sweatshirts, toaster sweaters, uh, a hoodie, my cable knit um, ones. I'm wearing my other cable knit one today, which is where it normally sits in here. <laughs> um, and then again in this one, more sort of jumpers. Got a ready to wear one there, a couple of ready to wear ones at the back. Um, yeah, just uh, again, another toaster sweater. Jara sweater, linden sweatshirt, and then again, similar thing. I've got to take this one out to then show you this one. This is cardigans that I can sort of fold up. So uh, they're sort of big ones that I couldn't really fit in those little black drawers. So I've got my Harper cardigan, like my Wendy Ward uh, one, my Willow one from Mood Society, Bertha, um, Blackwood. No, that's Bertha, that's Blackwood. So yeah. That is my cardigans. Oh, there we go. And then finally at the bottom, we have again, sort of more jumpers and things. So this one has like my sort of chunky jumpers in, like I've got a big hoodie, uh, nice sort of knitted ones. That's um, a me made one. That's a Hey June handmade one. And then this is like my hoodies. So, um, this is a ready to wear one. You've probably seen this one. <laughs> That's the Tilling the Button Stella, but all of these other ones are just ready to wear. And then uh, this section here is just like just really big chunky items. So this is my Billy blanket that I made. Um, underneath that is a really chunky sort of crochet, uh, not one that I made, uh, sort of cardigan. And then I've got my little Packamac there as well, just in case I need it. Um, so yeah. I think the main thing is what I've tried to do is not have things where I can pile things up. Everything sort of has a place, which I think works quite well for me. And there's Misty again for uh, anyone that wants to have a little close up of her. I mean, nice little snooze. Sorry. Don't worry. Not going to move you. Don't worry. So that was my tour of my wardrobe and uh, where I store everything. So yeah, I hope you found that interesting. Um, what I will say is any of the storage solutions that I pointed out, like any of the boxes with the dividers, um, you know, like my socks and things like that, or those um, sort of drop down um, sort of organisers, I will link uh, where I got them in the description box below. I got them all from Amazon. Um, just because I found that they were probably some of the best prices. I mean, it did cost me quite a bit to get that amount of um, storage solutions. I'm not going to lie. It's not cheap, cheap. <laughs> but for me, um, I found that it was, um, you know, a good bit of investment for me. Um, so yeah, I will link them all down below. Um, as I say, they are all from Amazon and I have done associate links because I do have like a, an associate sort of program with Amazon. It literally just means it won't cost you a penny more um, to buy from my associate link, but it means I get a teeny tiny amount of um, commission for recommending it. 
um, and I'm only recommending things that, as you'll see, I bought and tested myself. Um, so they work for me and if you are interested in them, I hope they work for you. So yes, let me know what you think think um as i say it's the solution that works for me it's not going to work for everyone but i thought that it might help others in kind of seeing how i organize my wardrobe and even though i fully appreciate some of you might say michelle you have got so many clothes how can you wear that amount of clothes you've got so much space um you know for your like wardrobe and drawers and things you know that's a ridiculous amount of clothes um I understand I do have a lot of clothes I'm not going to shy away from that but I love sewing I love making clothes I love wearing clothes I love having a variety and for me that's just my lifestyle and that is what I enjoy and I'm happy with my wardrobe <laughs> um, and yes I will be adding to it because I'll be making more things but also at the same time I will be um, donating things that I will no longer wear and actually being able to see everything, um, I think will actually be a lot more helpful because then there'll be things that I can see that I'm not reaching for, things that are staying in the same position or, you know, my hanging space is things that are always getting pushed towards the back. Um, I just think having it more visual is going to help me a lot. And having all those sort of storage solutions as well, the one thing I found with um, my wardrobe is if I have a space to pile anything on, that is where my downfall is. So having all those boxes and those hanging storage units and things means that um, I'm unlikely to be able to just pile things up in, you know, kind of, you know, you know what it's like when you do your washing and you've done a pile and then you just always go, oh, I'll just shove it in there. It's like, no, I have my pile of washing that I've sorted and I have to take my storage boxes out, put them in the select in the sections or hang it up, um, you know, using a hanger to, you know, pop it in there so I have to actually hang it up if that kind of makes sense um but yeah that is my wardrobe tour as I say let me know what you think or let me know what you've done with your wardrobe just because it might help others for um you know anyone that's maybe wanting to uh you know kind of do something similar so yes I will now record um a separate video on everything that I um donated and yeah, I will speak to you very soon in that video. <laughs> All right, take care, everyone. Bye.